Logan knows when he's been handed a raw deal. He and Liam, the monkey next to him, just did the exact same trick. And Liam got a grape. Now any monkey knows grapes are more prized than that boring old cucumber slice he received. So they're more than happy to eat cucumbers until they see their partner getting a grape, in which case they don't like their cucumbers anymore. We humans may not get all spun up over cucumbers or grapes as our monkey cousins, but we do share an innate sense of fair play. And with support from the National Science Foundation, psychologist Sarah Brosnan and her team at Georgia State University and Chapman University are trying to see if cooperation is baked into our DNA as well. We need everyone to click on the green start button. To test the notion, Brosnan has rigged up games for humans and monkeys to play. You ready guys? We're taking this game called the assurance game where individuals do best if they cooperate. To level the playing field, no instructions are given on how to play the games. Players are paired with a team member. Sometimes they see them, sometimes they don't. If each member of the team chooses the red square, both win big. Monkeys win tasty treats, students get cash. You get a dollar a piece for red and red. The more we work together, the more money we got. If they can't get on the same page, they get little or nothing. Monkeys and humans cooperated about 70 to 80% of the time. That suggests that cooperation behavior runs deep in the nature of primates. The only time humans outscored monkeys was when they employed our key advantage. All of the people who talked about the game figured out the cooperative interaction. Our language skills sets us apart from our primate cousins. Which is probably what's allowed us as humans to develop really complex cooperative enterprises like economies and nation states that other species simply haven't been able to do. That's enough to make Logan and Liam envious. Or maybe it's just sour grapes. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.